Hey folks, how you doing? Welcome back, it's Charlie. It is whew, <coughs> Monday. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> it is Monday, August 6th, 2018. About 3.20 in the afternoon. And I am in the great city of Burbank, California. And I am here at Burbank Town Center. I guess you could say this is Burbank Mall, but it's called Burbank Town Center. I've only been here once a long time ago, but they've... I never really, really went in here in depth. <coughs> but uh, it looks a lot different from when I last was here. Um, it's 101 degrees right now here in Burbank. And... Uh, this looks to be like maybe the food court or a small eatery, although I don't see very many places. I see a Panda Express and some sort of beef place. But this is a one, two, tri-level mall with multiple wings. There's a food court over here. You know what? Let's just go down to the lower level, shall we? So, actually, you guys are going to enjoy this with me for the first time. Because this is going to be my first time. Like I said, I, I, when I came in here, I only put in, like, this was years ago. I put in applications at the food court. And, uh, not very much. All right, here's the, uh, I guess it dead ends. I guess it goes further. Like I said, they really remodeled it here. So this is all new and foreign territory to me. Oh, Saboro's Pizza, okay. Yeah, Saboro's Pizza, Mongolian Grill, Teriyaki Tokyo. So this is actually a, a smaller food court area. World Market. And, oh, look, Charlie's Philly State. Boy, I'm everywhere, aren't I? Yeah. Now, if I could only get, like, uh, free samples, if, like, if your name was Charlie, you can get free samples. But screw it. Let's just go to the upper level. H&M. Ah, the Kmart of Europe. Alright, so here we are on the uppermost, most upper, upper, uppermost level. Oh shoot, excuse me, whoa. Oh, a nice little atrium. Looks... Game for Hagen Dazs. This, this mall actually looks pretty, uh, Pretty vacant. AMC theaters. Wow, this is Burlington Coat Factories over there. It's really not too much to this, but ooh, DQ. Hey, I didn't know DQ was here. I love DQ. The Dream Bars. Ordinarily, you used to have to drive a distance to go to. DQ and an Orange Julius. Oh my god. DQ and Orange Julius. How expensive though. Uh, let's see. Holy shit. Excuse my language. Oh, they got a banana split. How much is a banana split? Oh. Okay, that banana split looks doable. I'll think about that. I know, I keep saying the same thing, don't I? Yeah, there's really... There looks to be like a... a play place there for kids. Oh, but wouldn't you know it? They do have one thing here. 
they have an arcade. It's small in size, but an arcade it is. Wow, look at that. It's uh, Space Invaders. Space Invaders Frenzy. Holy moly. That is super cool. Wow. I can't remember the last time I actually saw an arcade in a mall. Oh, you got to get a card. Looks like you buy a card and you load up the card and then you swipe at the games. Jurassic Park. Interesting. Typical race games. House of the Dead 2. Love that game. Bike racing. Aliens Extreme. Air hockey. Love air hockey. My, you know, I, I never mentioned, my mom and I used to play. She loved air hockey. Oh. Simpsons. I used to own this. Well, I used to co-own this. I used to co-own that. Very cool. You got your basketball kit games. Your ticket redemption. All sorts of ticket games. It's quaint and it's cute. All right. Burlington. All right. Let's go down the lower level. I think it's the men's section. We need to find socks. I don't know what they're filming or photograph policy is, so I'm trying to keep this under being cool and nonchalant. That's why I keep pausing. Too expensive. Eight dollars for four pair. I think I'm better off at Target. And let's go out this way. This is on the second level. Let's see what we can find out here. There's Payless, AMC theaters, restrooms. Oh, it's a small play area. Wow. That's a very small area. This, the one, and for as big of a mall as this is, there's a lot of room that there is. This is a small, small area. Yeah, that's a small play area. Oh. Unfortunately, see, this is the trend of, um, uh, of American malls. This is the way they're all going to be. Give it another less than 10 years, they're all going to be like um, Mall of America. About the populace, the retail populace is like less than 50%, or no, a little bit over 50%. I'll give it that. But this is, uh, this is pretty bad. And that lower level, look at that. See how it shortens up down there? And it continues up there. It's the same way as it is over on that side where I thought I was going to go to the food court. So I'm back on the second level. Let's go see if we can't find the food court. Yeah, this is uh, this is quite disappointing and depressing, actually. Okay, well, I'll have to check that out. Oh little FYI. Hold on. Oh, there's something neat that I don't really see. It's a bottle to, it's a machine to fill up your, your, your water bottles. That's pretty cool. So believe it or not, it actually took longer to get here for the amount of time that I'm going to spend here than going to Universal Studios. Actually, I know it took about the, just as long, but. Okay, now I don't see food court over here. What the heck? 
This is a very perplexing, they got gumball machines. Candy machine, I like that. This is it. This is... Wow. This is it. This mall sucks. This is it, guys. All this time freaking spent. Oh my god. Wow. This is disappointing. You know, I gotta see if there's a target around here close by or or something. I I, I spent almost an, an hour and 47 minutes just to get here. This is this is stupid. This is the shittiest mall in America. There's Mall of America, then there's the shitty Mall of America, and this is different. Wow. All right, I gotta check Google and see if there's, there's gotta be a Target or something. This is not worth an hour and 47 minutes to get here. Well, they got a cute play center, but oh, I bet you kids have, you have to pay for this place. $10 for a day pass to play here. That's definitely better than that little player. Oh my god, this is ridiculous. This is a big freaking mall, and this is it. I've been here 15 minutes, and I covered the entire mall in 15 minutes, and I went to the restroom. Holy cow. Maybe uh, uh, this is disappointing. All right, I am going to pause and check the Google. All right, give me a second. All right, it's it's 21 minutes by foot, five minutes by bus, and it looks to be to my north. I'm just gonna walk. Um, and maybe I'll just I don't want to because then I'm gonna have to. Here's the upper terrace. There's Cartoon Network. I don't know if you folks see that. There's Cartoon Network. This, well, this is Burbank City. This is where a lot of the, uh, the studios. Oh, we got a photo bomber. <laughs> yeah. Charlie Sanchez Salinas. Hi. Are you visiting Burbank? Yeah, I'm from Pasadena. Hello. Check it out. Hello. All right. What's your names? Emily. All right. Thank you. Welcome. <laughs> All right. This away, my friends. This away. That was a disappointing mall. This is. See, now this is a cute little downtown. That is the shittiest mall in America. As big as it is, and it's, by rough estimates, it's at least 50%, less than 50% occupied. This is the way it's going. This is a big mall. There's a lot of money in Burbank, and it is occupied by less than 50%. That is crazy. I'm disappointed. Hey! See, this is what I mean. <laughs> young, young girls, young ladies are attracted to me. Oh, well. Anyway. God, I'm bummed. I, oh, my God, my friends. I'm thinking, okay, yeah, I got time. I actually, I went to class. I came back. Um, came back home. I didn't, I, I know. I'm procrastinating. I did not do laundry. Um came home it was late well not very late but I laid down for, uh, for about an hour took a nap and I got up went to McDonald's had a, had, had a crappy Big Mac and then I'm on the bus and I'm thinking ah oh, heck with it let's just go to Burbank Look, let's, let's go to the mall and it was an hour and 47 minutes just to get here that's including on one bus one train ride and then another bus 
And now I gotta walk 20 minutes to Target. Oh, good Lord. See, this is... I mean, look how big that mall is. See, it's way all the way over here. And here's Bur Burlington Coat Factory. Wow. Okay, I gotta check my GPS. Bear with me. Oh yeah, this is messed up. This is totally messed up. This place is huge. I'm really upset. Well, like I said, you can't be disappointed in others or in other situations when you know that 95% of the time you're gonna be disappointed. So, Westfield Mall is a lot bigger than this. I mean, the parking structure is bigger than this and less occupied. This is, this is a really crappy place. Now I gotta walk all the way to Cyprus, turn down Cyprus to the left. Wow, Mall District, yeah. Whatever. Here's one of these uh, old circa 1970s apartments. This, this is the kind of lifestyle that used to be very, very popular in the late, late 70s, uh, early 70s. These type of condos, I call them the Carol Burnett era because right around Carol Burnett was popular, these type of apartments like all over, like on Broadway, Los Angeles, the Fairfax District, everything. All right, here's Third and Cypress. So I head down this way. Yikes. Okay. Well, if anything, I am getting a workout. Yeah, see, this is the old Macy's. That's the old front. At least for the most part, a lot of the, uh, <coughs> excuse me, a lot of the original Macy's stores that are um, Art Deco like this is, this style right here, this Art Deco, at least when a new developer comes in and builds like a, a mall, <coughs> The developer at least has the the decency and the smarts to keep that type of building because they then they build around it. Ooh, Chevy's. Ooh, you folks know Chevy's? Chevy's is right over there. CPK. <coughs> um, just because the Art Deco is just fantastic. Let's take a detour. You know what, my friends? I apologize. This is not going to be a very good video. I thought this mall was going to be bigger and better than what it was. Eh. Maybe I should have checked Yelp, but sometimes Yelp is very biased on itself, so I found that out the hard way. Chevy's. Damn, the last time I was in Chevy's was the one on Sunset in Sacramento off Highway 50 going into Sacramento on the left-hand side. That was a good Chevy's. I wonder what their menu is like nowadays. This was like, dang, 94? Yeah, this was like 94 last time I was in the Chevy's. Sure, they've gone through quite a few changes. All right, let's see what we have up. Oh, well, that's disappointing. I guess Chevy's is uh, no more. Now they're called Alcapucos. <laughs> oh, and by the way, so I'm coming to find out that this is still the extension of, this is like the alfresco part of the mall, which is disappointing. All right, well, 
I still got a ways to walk. This is almost over. Rats. I mean, you know, the only good thing about it was those three young ladies photobombing and asking uh, in and out. Yay, there's a second good part. And come to find out Chevy's is no longer there. It's got to go to Sun Valley, which is that way about another three, four miles. So those chickies were the only highlight of my video. Huh. Well, all right, my friends. Well, let's get this over with. You folks take care of yourselves, take care of each other, but always take care of yourselves Sales first. It's 102 degrees right now. Love one another, trust one another, be kind to each other, help one another. Wow. Do not take today for granted or any other day thereafter. Live for the moment. Pull down your pants and slide on the ice. I've practically walked in the entire, around the entire mall. Wow. If you like this vlog, this video, and I don't know why you would, there's nothing here. Hit the thumbs up. If you like what I'm doing, period, and that's different, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification button. Tell your friends and family about me. Follow the links in the description box below. Although there's, other than my regular links, I don't think there's anything worthwhile to put here. Okay, I can see a block away where I got off the bus and I started. I have walked the entire mall inside and I have walked the perimeter outside. Wow. This is lame. And I think I'm like right around Target. Ugh. Here's the mall, the rest of the mall. Yep, there's Magnolia. Holy cow. This is where I got off on the bus stop. All right, you know what? This was like really, really just a bummer. Uh, this is Magnolia first. That's the bus stop I got off. And then I turned left up here and then half a block up to the north is the main entrance, there's the cookie dough place, and right up there is where I started, just half a block up there. Yeah. This is, um, this is definitely the worst mall in America. I, as, like I said, as much money as there is here in Burbank, not just because of the studios and radio stations and whatnot, plus this is a heavy Armenian, um, dominated place there's a lot of money and that is right over there see that little kind of atrium on the top that's where those girls were that photo bombed me that was it that's um there's Sears I was in there in that section Wow, this is, I don't even know if I want to upload this video. Oh, I almost got hit by a Prius, okay. Wow. Okay, well, all right, my friends. There's three minutes left. So yeah. Right there, there's the escalators I came down. And I went in that direction, up Magnolia to the north. And then I came back down all that away and back around. 
and um, that's it. Now I'm waiting for the bus. There's better stuff down there in the downtown district area, I think. Well, there's a yard house. If I was still a drinker, I'd go in there and be really bummed and have a, a beer. Thank goodness I'm not. Yeah. It's 101. Oh, gone it. Oh, well. All right, folks. I will upload this, sadly, once I get back. I think here comes the bus. And I will see you in the morning. I love you all. Bye.